Welcome to Centipede Code Demo with Tokyo EdTech. That is me. Uh, for those of you watching, this is not a tutorial. It's just going to show you a version of Centipede that I created. Very simple version of that. Uh, but I'll walk you through the code real quick and show you some coding concepts, such as classes, objects, um, lists, loops, and turtle graphics that some of you should know from my previous uh, tutorials. So this one is a bit more intermediate, it's a bit more complex, but uh, I hope to do a real tutorial on it one day. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to share what I have. So for those of you who did not grow up in the 1980s, like I did, um, Centipede is a game from 1981. You see the Wikipedia page here, and I'll put this down in the, the links the link down below. Uh, so it is a shooter shooter game where you are trying to kill, go figure, a centipede. Now I found an online version of it. Uh, here I'll put that link below as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play now. And it looks a lot like this. Now my version does not look anywhere near as good as this. And this actually uses the mouse. I actually just use the keyboard. Um, so you're the player here, the little white guy. And that is the centipede, and your job is to shoot it. Now, notice when I shoot it, um, it separates. That's a, I'm not even sure that's a spider or something. So the idea is to shoot that before it touches you and you die. And uh, I died. So I'm going to stop that there because it's really annoying. But hopefully you get kind of the idea of what it looks like. So to download my version of it, you're going to need to go to my GitHub, and I'll put the link below. It is winein1004, not Tokyo EdTech, long story. Um, you'll see a, where it says here pinned, you'll see projects, and you will see Centipede. And this is where all, basically I put all my stuff. So here is the centipede.py program. Now notice it's just one file. There are no uh, images, there's no sound, so it's obviously a bit more bare bones. So I click that, takes you to this page. You'll see over here where it says raw, and then there's this copy raw file, and then there is download. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that real quick. And it should download to your computer. I'm gonna open it, and it will open up in your, hopefully your editor of choice. In my case, it should open with Genie, and this is the file. It is, let's see, how, how big is this? It is 403 lines code of code long. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and show you what my little version of this looks like. Now, in this case, we're going to be using the space bar to shoot, and you can use WASD to move or the arrow keys. It doesn't matter which. So I'm going to move that up to the other screen, and there you go. So you got your centipede, and you've got your player. I, did, I didn't get around to adding like the, the spider and the, the scorpion and all that kind of stuff, and obviously there's no sound effects. But you can see when you shoot, it does separate into a separate... Now it runs, it runs faster uh, without the screen recording. Screen recording is slowing everything down. So also notice when I shoot uh, the mushrooms, they change colors. Uh, instead of changing size, like because I don't have the images, so so each color represents a different level of destruction see when the, the centipedes get to the bottom they shoot back up to the top it's a little different than the original game but uh yeah so the object is to shoot the centipedes and notice when you shoot a centipede it turns into a mushroom um, so there's a few little glitches here and there but you know again this was a, a technology demonstrator and i was pretty actually quite happy with the way it turned out so now I killed the uh, first level, and now I'm on to second, and there are two uh, centipedes that I have to deal with. And as you go on, it will go up and up and up, and eventually you die and hit game over. Uh, there's no reset on the game, you gotta just restart it, but uh, it does, there actually is an end of game, and uh, there's scores and lives and things like that. So anyway, uh, although I don't think my lives went down there. So see if that's working. Anyway, so let me just uh, walk you through real quick some of the uh, coding concepts and that I mentioned earlier. Um, so this is class-based uh, stuff. I don't usually do this in a lot of my videos, especially as I aim towards beginners, but this was something I wanted to do a bit more advanced uh, program. So I was kind of just brushing up my skills a little bit in Python. So we have objects and of course lists, loops, and my favorite turtle graphics. So again, looking at the code here, we've only imported four modules. Um, Turtle does the heavy lifting. That's what lets us do the keyboard input, draw the shapes on the screen. Um, we also use time and random and math for some of the calculations and things. So 
you can see over here in Genie, uh, the main classes. So now over here, they're in alphabetical order. Over here, they are in the order they are in the code. So I'll go in the order they are in the code because it makes more sense. So I've got a sprite class and sprites are just 2D objects uh, in our in our game. So basically everything you see on the screen is a sprite or a combination of sprites. So we have our constructor here. So each sprite has an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, a DX and DY, which controls the speed at which it moves. Um, it has a speed speed. Uh, and then it also has a color and a shape. So since I'm using the turtle module, I'm using basically squares, circles, and triangles and the basic colors. So each uh, sprite can be moved somewhere using the go to command. So we just set its X and Y coordinate to whatever we want it to be. And then movement is uses DX and DY. So if you're not quite sure how that works, you know, don't don't stress Again, it's, someday I will probably do a proper tutorial for this and then we have a collision which just measures the distance if you've seen some of my other videos this will come as no surprise I just kind of built on what I did previously put it into classes and try to make a decent game out of it and then I have this thing called render which actually it's a little different than I've probably done it in past videos but this is what lets us actually put a lot of objects on the screen fairly quickly so each sprite renders itself uh, using a turtle pen and then we go to its X and Y coordinate, we set its color, set its shape, we stamp it on the screen, that's it. So we have segments. So the centipedes are made up of segments and the segments are just sprites. So they are basically green circles. Uh, the heads are red. And then this code is actually a little bit complicated um, because a centipede has a certain number of segments. It has a, a size, um, yeah, the speed is is set to 20. You can't change that or it messes everything up. So if you've done my snake tutorial, this is the object oriented version of that essentially. Um, so basically we set the uh, head to red, set the starting direction to the right, and then there's all kinds of code in there that makes this thing function. Um, spawn is when uh, we have a collision and we shoot one of the uh, how do you put it? You put, shoot one of the, the uh, centipedes. This is what splits it in half. It took me a long time to figure that one out. Um, basically, it just takes the, the list. It's everything's in a list. Uh, it takes that, splits it. So you can see how we split it. The, oops, we split the right half, we split the left half. It was pretty complicated. Anyway, um, that's why you need a tutorial for this one. But if you wanted to play around with it, I thought I'd just share it anyway. Um, so we move the, the body and it moves a little bit differently. It doesn't really use the normal DX and DY. Um, it's kind of a fudge, but it works. Um, notice how I have the left border at 280 and the right border at 280 as well. So if you change the screen size, you'd have to mess with that. Uh, again, if you've done the uh, snake tutorial, this code should look very, very familiar. Um, then if you touch a mushroom, then we change the direction to down and blah, blah, blah. Blah. Uh, I'm not going to walk through this because it's very complicated. But anyway, uh, we move the head, we move the body, and we hope for the best. <laughs> Again, it worked. I'm happy. Uh, the mushroom is a little bit simpler uh, because they don't really move. They just kind of sit there. But you can see how we start with uh, uh, white. So it's strongest. It's got four. Yellow, orange, red, and then black means it is dead. So they, they can absorb four shots. That's why that's a four. Um, so if we register a hit, we reduce the health. If it's less than zero, we set the health to zero and we set the color. And then at the end of each round, we rejuvenate each mushroom and we set its health back to four. And then we set the colors based on you know the health. And again, now if we were doing this with graphics, we would use images. It would be a little more complicated, but the, the principle is the same. Uh, the player here, you can see, starts out with three lives. I uh, gave the player a speed of 2.5. I'm not sure why, but it just seemed like it would work that way. Uh, and, of course, a score of zero. So up, down, left, and right. Um, again, same X and DX movements and things like that. Uh, the weapon is the little thing that I'm shooting. Um, of course, it only goes up, so that's why it's DY is positive 10. So that's the change in Y. And then... We fire it, so if it's 
y coordinate is greater than 400 means if it's off the screen and then we just send it to where the player is and then it shoots from there uh so yeah that's that's the classes and most of that is neutral like it would work for how can i put it, it work for if you put this in pi game it would work the only thing that wouldn't work is the render method because that is specific to the turtle module um so let's see here that's a little quick i'm just kind of introducing it so you set up the screen again if you've done my videos before you've this should be very very familiar to you uh, we have two different pens one for drawing graphics and one for drawing text uh, this this is partly because text uh, is very slow to update so it's good to have those two things separated uh, and then created a centipede so we started out with a centipede that has 10 segments it is green in color and it is it's not a combination of other centipedes. That's what that means. And the head is going to start at negative 280, 380. So I made 25 mushrooms in random positions. And oops, we don't need that print XY anymore. I can get rid of that. We've got a player and we've got a weapon. And then delay, I'll be honest, I don't remember what that part does. <laughs> so you can see here, we can go up, down, left, and right using the arrow keys or W, A, S, and D. And then fire is space. So we draw the score. And then I had to do some really crazy stuff to get the uh, tur or get the centipede to move. I have to explain that some other time. It's pretty complicated. I I'm really, not really happy with it, but it does work. And then, you know, we update the screen, clear everything. And then check and see if there's zero lives left. If so, we end the game. And then, you know, move stuff around. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of code in here. I don't, I don't really I feel like going through the whole thing, but uh, yeah, if you take a look through it, you might be able to pick up a few interesting things from it. Um, it's somewhat, well, at least each section's basically commented. Um, if I go back up here to player, where's player? And then I'll just set the lives to zero. I'll show you what it looks like at the end screen. And this is the end screen. Very exciting. And uh, yeah, that is... That is that. So, yeah, if you're interested, uh, check it out. Uh, I'll put the links down below. And again, hopefully someday I will get a tutorial, a proper tutorial uh, out there. So, as I like to say, keep on coding. Take care.